good afternoon students myself dr divya gildeyal in continuation with my lecture series for aktu btech first year engineering physics syllabus this last lecture of quantum mechanics in which i will introduce you to quantum effect in your aktu paper quantum effect is asked this formula del lambda equal to h upon m not c into 1 minus cos phi the derivation of this is asked and numericals on the formula del lambda equal to h upon m not c into 1 minus cos phi h upon m not c is also known as compton wavelength and if you notice all the factors here are constant h is planck's constant m not is rest mass and c is velocity of light so let us begin with compton effect what is compton effect see quantum effect is defined as the effect that is observed when x ray or gamma rays are scattered on the material and a wavelength change is observed Compton studied this effect, and during the study, Compton found that wavelength was not dependent on the intensity of incident radiation. It was basically dependent on the angle of scattering and on the wavelength of the incident beam. It is given by del lambda equal to h upon m not c into one minus cos phi, where h is planck's constant m not is rest mass of electron c is velocity of light and phi is the angle at which the radiation is scattered so the phenomena of scattering with change in frequency or wavelength is known as compton effect this effect is the outcome of collision between high energy proton and free electron let us have a look at the diagram see from the diagram you see this incident photon carrying energy h mu or momentum p equal to h mu by c strikes on the target electron which is at rest it gets scattered at angle phi and theta here are the scattered photons what we will do is we will apply the principle of conservation of momentum to derive an expression for del lambda so x ray photons are striking an electron and being scattered away from its original direction of motion while electron receive an impulse and they begin to move so compton derived an expression for change in wavelength of scattered proton by considering elastic collision between the incident photon and free electron of the scattering material and applying the law of conservation of energy and momentum so we know the very famous theorem of law of conservation of momentum that momentum before collision is equal to momentum after collision or initial is equal to final so let mu be the initial frequency of photon proton scattered frequency will be a lower one equal to mu dash loss in proton energy will be equal to gain in electron energy from the famous einstein's formula e equal to h mu minus h mu dash is equal to k the energy and e equal to h mu p is equal to e upon c is equal to h mu by c we have done this formula in de broglie wavelength where lambda was h upon p so we had put m e uh, p equal to mv from there we have derived this expression already so initial proton momentum becomes h mu by c from this formula scattered photon momentum is h mu dash by c initial and final electron momentum initial will obviously be zero in the original position and p the final so in the original proton direction initial equal to final h mu by c plus zero equal to h mu dash by c cos phi plus p cos theta taking perpendicular directions we do not want the horizontal ones 
here we will take the perpendicular directions after resolving and we get zero is equal to h mu dash by c sine phi minus p sine theta where we are taking the perpendicular and the initial portion as zero so from the equations we equate three and four and we get p c is equal to uh, cos theta is equal to h mu minus h mu dash cos phi so p c sine theta this is the horizontal and the vertically resolved components applying the law of vector addition squaring and adding we get and then equating the expression for total energy we have done this in relativistic mechanics where e is equal to m not square c to the power of 4 plus p square c square and squaring both the sides we get p square c square is equal to k square plus m not c square k and k is equal to h mu minus h mu dash putting these values here and taking the value of p square c square from the equation here p square is equal to this much we have put it here and we have equated the expression so these terms cancel dividing equation 9 by 2 h square c square we get m not c upon h into mu upon c minus mu dash by c equal to mu by c into mu dash by c into 1 minus cos phi since velocity is equal to frequency into lambda so we can write v upon c is equal to 1 upon lambda and mu dash by c is equal to 1 upon lambda dash so we have put these values here in this expression above and we write del lambda equal to h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos phi the quantity h upon m naught c is equal to compton wavelength now since the values of h m naught and c are positive and constants so the maximum value of cos phi we know is one the frequency of incident photon or radiation is always greater than the frequency of scattered radiation also compton shift depends on the angle of scattering when del dash minus uh, lambda dash minus lambda is equal to zero no scattering will occur along the direction of incident radiation. And mathematically, if you put the numerical values of H, M0 and C here, approximately Compton wavelength will come out as 0 0.0242 angstrom. You can use it directly in your numericals also. One peculiar feature of Compton effect is that it is not observable in visible light because the angle is phi if you put phi in the expression for del lambda then you get 0 0.04852 angstrom this shift is less than 0.001 percent of the initial wavelength of visible light which is undetectable See, it is so small Compton shift for the visible spectra that it is undetectable. This question has been asked twice or thrice in section A that why is Compton shift not observable in visible light? Because the shift there is very small, hence we are not able to see. Few formulas for angle of recoil of Compton electron tan phi equal to cot theta by 2 into 1 plus h mu uh, upon m naught c square. You put different values of theta equal to 0, phi 90, theta equal to 180 degree, phi equal to 0. That is the electron can recoil only in the onward direction at angle less than 90 degree while a proton can get scattered in any direction. And one formula for kinetic energy and maximum kinetic energy of the recoiled electron. 
the radiation that has undergone modification that is one component is having same frequency and wavelength as that of incident photon so it will be the unmodified radiation the other component which has got lower frequency or since v is equal to f into lambda inverse relationship higher wavelength then it will be known as modified radiation so Compton scattering usually refers to the interactive involving only the electrons of atom. If photon does not collide with any of the electron of an atom, then it shows unmodified lines. Both modified and unmodified radiations are simultaneously obtained at every non-zero scattering angle. Now, look at a very simple numerical. If X-rays of wavelength lambda equal to two angstrom are scattered from a block of carbon. The scattered X-rays are observed at angle of 45 degree of the incident beam. Find the Compton shift. So how will you do this uh, expression? You first use the formula I told you right now for Compton wavelength. What is it? Del lambda is equal to h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos phi. And now you put the values here in this expression. You get Planck's constant h is 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 34. And uh, your uh, m naught is 9.11 into 10 to the power of minus 31, C is 3 into 10 to the power of 8, and cos 5, that is cos 45 degree, and you get the answer. Quickly, let me tell you what I told you in whole quantum physics. I started with the laws of energy, E equal to sigma t to the power of cos Stephen's law, lambda m into t equal to Wayne's law, a constant, average energy of Planck's oscillator, E equal to h mu upon E to the power of h mu by kt minus 1, lambda equal to h upon p d Broglie wavelength, also lambda equal to h upon under root 2 m e, lambda lambda equal to h upon under root 2 mqv, lambda equal to 12.28 upon under root v in angstrom, wave velocity into group velocity is equal to square of velocity of light, Schrodinger time dependent and time independent equation del 2 phi by del x2 plus 2 m upon h bar square into e minus v phi equal to 0 condition for normalized wave function integral minus infinity to plus infinity mod phi n square d tau equal to 1 particle in one dimensional well phi n equal to under root 2 by l sine n phi x by l where n is 1 to 3 Compton shift del phi E del lambda equal to h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos phi eigenvalues of energy e n equal to n square h square upon 8 m l square most important schrodinger equation conditions necessary for acceptable wave function what is compton shift and derivation of same thank you